Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? I create hair, fashion, and lifestyle content that will encourage you to be your very best self. So if you're with that, you're in the right place. Today's video is all about wig hacks. I decided to compile some of my favorite, I guess you could say tricks of the trade that I've acquired since I started wearing wigs and share them with you all. Especially for my beginners because I've been receiving a lot of questions recently just about you know foundational skills when it comes to wigs if you're not a beginner you may see some things that you already know but you never know i might toss in something new we'll see <laughs> overall i just want to take out some of the guesswork when it comes to wigs because i do meet a lot of people that still feel very intimidated by them whether it be synthetic or human hair and i just want to alleviate some of that pressure when i started wearing wigs six years ago it would have been nice to watch a video like this so i'm just giving what I would have wanted to see back in the day and if you learned something new make sure you drop me a comment after you watch the video like the video consider subscribing all that is much appreciated you can also check me out on instagram is that your hair with three r's and if you want to share more of your thoughts about this video i would love to talk to you there as well also if you're interested in anything that i'm wearing makeup wise i will link it all in the description box recently i've fallen back in love with lipsticks and the one i'm wearing today is actually a lipstick that i saw my boo the hearts and kick 90 with she had it in a video and i was like i want to try that like a black lip gloss i love dark lipsticks why haven't i gotten this yet so you see i'm with it <laughs> it'll be linked down below okay so wig hack number one is to measure your head whether you're wearing synthetic or human hair wig these wigs are not created alike there's a lot of nuances and everyone's head shape is different so i would definitely start by measuring the circumference of your head and you'll see here how i measure the circumference of my head i have the measuring tape and i make sure it goes around the nape of my neck all the way to the top perimeter of my head and from there you should get an accurate measurement of the circumference of your head it's really important to know the size of your head especially if you've been watching reviews of other people talk about wigs you may see them say oh this is big head friendly or small head friendly how do they know this because all of them have measured their head if you are looking into getting a human hair wig especially a custom human hair wig there are definitely more measurements that you have to take if you look at this chart here you will see the standard measurements that are taken for people who are getting a custom wig made so you have more than the circumference right you have from the back of the nape to the front of the head you have from ear to ear in the front and ear to ear across as well all these measurements are taken for custom wigs so that you get the most accurate custom fit hence the type of wig a custom wig so if you haven't measured your head yet i highly suggest you check out the measuring tape that i have i really like this one that i purchased because it comes with a retractable one as well i don't know where my retractable one is right now and it's getting me a little bit annoyed because i wanted to show it to you all but trust me if you click the link you'll see it it's a solid buy now today is still 20 dollars tuesday y'all normally 20 dollars tuesday is a special time where i showcase affordable wigs for the 20 dollars price range and below but in this video you'll see more so the products that i've used and of course all of them are way below the 20 dollars price range so make sure you check through my description box it's very thorough it's organized that way it'll help you shop for different supplies and when you shop through my links girl you are directly supporting is that your hair and that means so much to me all right on to wig hack number two this is my favorite <laughs> is simply styling silicone spray if you've been around my channel for a while y'all know how much i talk about this spray i really need y'all to just add this to the cart bam i have been talking about a silicone spray that i use now this right here will get your synthetic wigs right this silicone spray is a must have i introduced this spray to you all last year i did a dedicated video on this spray and a lot of you have seen great results from it and that's why i'm so pleased that they're sponsoring this portion of the video today so shout out to simply styling for partnering with your girl today here's something that you need to know specifically about synthetic wigs right as you wear them over time remember it's not human hair fibers so the fibers are receiving a lot of wear and tear and the protective layer of these synthetic fibers is being stripped having a product like this silicone spray by simply styling is a game changer seriously the perfect elixir when it comes to repairing your synthetic 
wigs. This is pure silicone, which you're not going to find in other products. And it literally coats the hair and protects it and just allows your synthetic wigs to last a little bit longer. This also works well for human hair wigs too when it comes to detangling, restoring shine, and diminishing frizz. In my last video on this product, I showed you all how I repaired one of my favorite bang wig units of all time. Y'all see it here? It was looking a little ratty, a little dusty. But let me tell you, this spray got it together. You don't need a lot, you spray a little bit, you brush through it. I also use my Revlon blow dryer brush. As you see, it's combing through. And voila, bow bow. Do you see her? She looks good. <laughs> Look at the sheen. Look at how flowy it is. All because of this spray. I'm telling you y'all, I use this all the time. So if you don't know, I'm gonna need you to find out today. Look at my description box, you will see a code, a $5 code. If you're interested in purchasing this from the Simply Styling website, use the code Gladys, which is my name, that's my first name, right there on the screen, and you can receive $5 off your purchase. I'm telling y'all, don't sleep, do not sleep on my silicone spray. I swear, every time I recommend this, there's at least five people that DM me saying how much they love the spray and that they're really glad that I brought it up. It's just a must have in my wig arsenal. So whether you're brand new to the wig game or maybe you've been around for a while and just never heard of it, look, I'm not gonna say you wrong. Go ahead and grab your bottle and make sure you update me in the comments. Also, if you're unfamiliar with silicone and how it works with hair, I highly encourage you to check out my dedicated video I did a few months ago. And I'll leave a few links from the Simply Styling blog so that way you can get more educated on the silicone substance and some of the processes that are involved when using it all right wig hack number three use either an eyeshadow or eyeliner to fill in your lace let me explain what I mean so for some of my synthetic wigs right sometimes when I put them on and they may not totally fit my head ear to ear I prefer to wear them behind my hairline a little bit and just fill in the lace that's showing. So I'm gonna use a wig that I have here and show you what I'm talking about. The cutie I have today is Nisha206. She is a beautiful, gorgeous textured wig. I actually have a video featuring this wig where I show you how I make my wigs look natural. This is actually a new one I had in the box. I didn't even realize I still have this. <laughs> so I'm gonna take off this wig right here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when it comes to filling the lace with this. So look here. This lace is not my skin tone, right? That's fine. I toss it on. I think I'm ready to go somewhere. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Who is she? What? The holidays are right around the corner. Oh. She, she just gets me every time. Notice though that when I shift to the side, this part is a little bit longer, so this is definitely a middle part wig. But we're not doing a whole bunch of laying right now. I'm simply just showing you how I fill in this lace. You see this right here? Don't walk out your house like this. Do not show up at Thanksgiving dinner with your lace showing like this. They will talk about you and you won't get a plate. <laughs> Instead, do what I'm about to show you. All right, y'all, we are up close and personal. So I'm taking this Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. I like coal eyeliners because they just go on very smoothly. And this one was super affordable. I'm pretty sure it was no more than $2 on Amazon. It'll be linked in my description box. Now, sometimes I use dark brown, sometimes I use black. It just depends on how I'm feeling that day. But I'm using black today, and look at this. You can just fill this in. You don't have to stress yourself trying to pull this lace to your edges if you do not want to. You don't have to do that, y'all. I, I'm not stressing myself this holiday season. Some people also like to use a Sharpie. I mean, it's up to you. Sometimes I will even color in underneath the lace too, especially if I feel like it's prone to flip up. Y'all see the difference here? Look, this is with me using the eyeliner and this is with no eyeliner. Beginners, are you watching? Are you listening? Are you taking notes? I'm telling you. Wearing these wigs does not have to be a daunting task. And if this video is helping you, please drop me a comment down below. Make sure you like this video because I just want everyone to feel comfortable with this process. Share this with a friend. If you see a friend with lace looking like this, share this video because we're not going out like this come 2022. We're not doing that. <laughs> There's no reason why we all can't slay in the new year. So I really hope 
that this is helping you out. This is such a huge difference. A $2 pencil does this. Easy. And again, if you have a Sharpie and you prefer to use that, maybe you don't want to use up your pencil, you can use a Sharpie as well. All right, y'all, really quick before we go into wig hack number four, look at this wig. I feel like Nisha 206 is so underrated. Like, the first few Nisha's got a lot of shine. I don't know, I feel like this one just got skipped over. I have an entire tutorial on this unit showing how I make my wigs look natural. So if you're interested, I'll link it in the description box. But this, she's effortless. Beautiful, kinky straight bob. Absolutely beautiful. If you're looking for texture in a bob style, $20 price range, this is your girl. On most wig sites, she'll be anywhere from like $25 to $28. On Amazon, I've seen her for $32. That does include shipping if you have Amazon Prime. Certain colors might be $29 on Amazon though. Just depends on the, the color, but she is gorgeous. This is absolutely one of my favorite bobs. I'm so glad that I'm able to bring her back around to show you all in her glory. How many plates y'all think I'm gonna get in this wig for Thanksgiving? How many plates am I taking home? Two, three, let me know. <laughs> oh man, look at these flips and these layers. Go ahead and check out the link in my description if you are interested in copying this one because she is too cute. All right, now on to wig hack number four. Cut a V in your lace. Cutting a V in your lace definitely makes the parting space look more seamless. I actually have an entire video showing my process on how I do it, and I wanna show it to you right here. You see this wig, this is actually a lace part wig. And normally lace part wigs have this line of demarcation that can be very harsh, and it just doesn't look seamless. So that's why you cut the V. And you see here, I use my small scissors and cut the incision literally in the shape of a V. Be careful, don't try to overdo it. And once you make that V, you'll notice that when it presses down back into the scalp, it blends in very, very well. To me, this is an oldie but goodie wig hack. So if you are a beginner, make sure you put this one in the pocket, okay? And keep it there. Especially with the older units, you might notice a line of demarcation and you might be like, whoa, what do I do here? But now you know. Wig hack number five. Use got to be glue to make your wig lace look like scalp. Now this is something I saw a long time ago, like back in 2015. And the person who did it, they used something else. It wasn't got to be glue. It was another clear substance. But I recently saw another YouTuber do it with the got to be glue and pressed powder and she made like a little paste. So this is not new, I've not created this, but I'm just here showing it to you all because I think it's a fun way to try to emulate a scalp on your wigs. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this paste. We're gonna apply it to this wig and we're gonna see if it looks like a scalp. So I squeezed out a dollop of got to be glue. I used my Juvia's Place Press Powder. I just basically mixed it all together. It becomes a really sticky paste and it looks super orange right now, which was hmm, maybe a little worried, but we're rolling with it. I flipped over my wig and I started applying the paste underneath the lace. And you can see here that as I apply it, it's starting to fill in those holes there that normally show. That's like the grid on the lace. I didn't apply too much in the front because I didn't want a line of demarcation. And then afterwards, I used my blow dryer to dry it off. Although I would ideally probably just let it hang out to dry. But look at how those holes have filled up with this sticky paste. This is how it looks when it's like halfway dry and I went in with the blow dryer again just to top it off because I didn't really have time to let it air dry. <laughs> and so now here, look at how it looks. Does this look like scalp to y'all? Because it's looking like somebody's scalp. Look at how all those holes are filled in. I'm back. I blow dried Nisha 206 in the parting space area. And um, y'all see this? This is a uh, this is definitely looking like somebody's scalp. It's not completely dry underneath, but it'll do. I was actually worried because it looks so orange that it would look weird, but it actually looks pretty accurate to my scalp right now. So let's see. This is my first time actually doing this, even though I've known about this little hack forever. I just never take the time to do it. If this is giving, I might have to start doing this a little more often, you know? So let's just toss Miss Nisha 
back on we had her to the side today let's let's get a little closer oh hold up do y'all see that <laughs> hold on <laughs> that look oh shit this really looks like this really is looking like scalp, y'all. It's looking like a fake scalp. I need to make sure I credit that YouTuber. I'm gonna put her YouTube video in the description box down below. I'm also gonna credit the other YouTuber I saw way back six years ago. I'm gonna find her video, put it in the description box because they are the reason why I even know to do this. Do y'all? I know this camera's picking it up. like. That is scalp. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm I'm blown right now. Um, let me get myself together. As you see, I didn't put the paste all the way to the front because I was worried about being like some a line of demarcation. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline powder in the color 360 to blend. And let's see let's see what's happening here. Let me let me get up on this. So there's still some things I would do to fix this. This right here is a bit wide, so normally I would use a dark brown pencil, but I would go in and close this up a little bit. But yo, I'm not seeing any grids. Where's the grids? Where, where's the lace at? <laughs> the part is looking a little wide right now. That's the only thing. But y'all catch my drift, right? Like we literally just took Got to be glue, Juvia's Place pressed powder, mix it together to make a paste, put it on the lace, and now the holes have disappeared. Science. I still have two more wig hacks to show y'all, but I'm so enthralled by this, <laughs> this paste. Like, is this for real? See, I could put a V in this probably make it look a little more seamless. Okay, so I added some pressed powder in the front here to blend it a little bit. Y'all, I am impressed by this. Seriously, I'm not seeing any holes. Look at this comparison shot I did between this wig with no paste in it and the wig that I'm wearing right now. Like, you see the difference, right? And if you find that the parting space looks like a little too much of a certain color, like to me, this parting space is looking a little orangey. I don't know. I'm going to apply a little bit of this brown powder on top and to see if it kind of like will cancel it out a little bit. Like I just want to dull the orangeness and I'm, I don't know why I think putting brown on top is going to work, but eh, I think it's helping. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> Y'all, we just created a fake scalp out of got to be glue and pressed powder. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm definitely impressed by this. Y'all saw the results. Yeah, this was not a beginner wig hack. This is definitely something I think my intermediate wig wearers and advanced wig wearers would appreciate for sure because, honey, if you got a little extra time, and you're going somewhere special, especially during the holiday season, and you really don't want to be clocked by your Aunt Linda every freaking year? Come on, get with it. She tried to come at your wig last year because you didn't know how to blend your lace. But listen, times have changed. Oh my God, I'm so happy I finally tried this. And the fact that I did it with you all, it feels even more special. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this wig hack because <laughs> I don't even know what I don't even know what else to say. Also, I am very familiar with the company Perfect Hairline Swiss. They basically do the same thing. They make the parting space look like scalp. I am curious about the product. So if it's something that you want to see me try on my channel, leave those comments down below and let me know. Maybe I can make something happen. Who knows? But just let me know if that's something that interests you, if that company interests you. All right, wig hack number six. 
Y'all, you gotta use tint spray. I use tint spray mostly for my frontal wigs because when these wigs come out the pack, they are not my complexion. They're not a lot of people's complexion. So I like to use my Ebony York tint spray in the color Darkest Brown. The shade works very well for me. And normally I follow up with my CoverGirl foundation in the color D90 to like touch up the edges and normally it's a flawless install. So please make sure you use some tint spray. You see how I'm using it right here? You see the difference? Do you see the difference? It's necessary y'all. For my beginners out there who are just now dealing with frontals, make sure you include this step when you are melting your lace. All right, y'all, so it's time for wig hack number seven. This is the final wig hack for today. And the wig hack is to use shears, hair shears, for your fuller wigs. There'll be times where you get a wig that is fuller than your liking. For example, I have this wig, Outre Nisha, which is an OG wig. And I love the texture of it. It was just too much hair for me. So as you can see here, I went in with the shears all over the wig and I was able to lessen the density of the wig. I think this is a great tool for beginners to learn to use because with hair scissors it can be a little bit more intimidating. It feels a little bit more permanent when you're cutting your hair because it is permanent. Like once it's cut, it's cut. <laughs> But with hair shears, you're not so much taking off length right away. You're taking away the fullness. And you I just feel like you have a little bit more control with the shears, especially if you are not used to cutting hair. So I highly recommend for all of you who receive wigs that you know, might be closer to like a 200% density. Maybe it's a thick yakky wig or kinky straight texture like the one I showed. Before you go toss it to the side and get frustrated with it, try picking up a pair of hair shears and just playing around with it. Maybe doing a little test spot in the back and seeing how the density changes as you use it. And then you can work your way to the front. I highly recommend it. I've used it on numerous wigs and it definitely changes the entire look of the wig and makes it a lot more wearable for me. So I suggest the same for you. And now we've made it to the end of the video. Yay! Which wig hack is your favorite? Which wig hacks have you tried in your practice? If you're brand new to wigs or still in the beginner stages in general, which wig hack did you learn in this video that you're gonna try tomorrow? Let me know in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure you like this video and share this with a friend. It's the holiday season, so you may as well make yourself the reason someone conceals their lace properly this month. Be the reason someone's wig looks like their real hair this holiday season. Videos like these, they're the gifts that just keep on giving. That's why I like to do them because I get great feedback from these type of videos where I'm showcasing little tips and tricks here and there. And I really like to help people in that way. So I'm really hoping that at least a few people are inspired by what they have seen today. My favorite wig hack would be, I have two. The Simply Styling Spray, you already know that silicone spray is my favorite and shout out to Simply Styling for partnering with your girl. Make sure you use the code GLADYS if you want $5 off of your purchase. And then my second favorite hack has to be this got to be glue, fake scalp parting space situation. Like I, I'm a little, I don't know, I saw this, but now that I've done it myself, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> And if you feel the same, please let me know. If you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Y'all, it's the holiday season. I have a lot coming up for you guys. If you're into makeup, I am going to do a video featuring some of my favorite lipsticks because I'm back in the lipstick game. If you're into fashion, I have fashion hauls coming for you. I have more vlogs to edit. I'm traveling for my birthday in December, December 22nd. Capricorn. Woo -woo. So you know I'm going to be vlogging some of that. It's going to be great. So make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss a thing. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.